Hi everyone, it's Miss Shops a lot, and I have a huge haul today. I am going to try to get through it as quick as possible, but I don't want to rush. I feel like a couple of my videos lately have been rushed, and that's not what I want to do. So if you're not looking for a long video, this probably isn't the one for you then. <laughs> I will get started. Most of this stuff is from the thrift store. There are a couple things that are from, um, like... Craigslist and Offer Up and Let Go. Those are just a couple of the ones that I mainly use. Um, there's so many. If you just Google it, you'll find a lot of apps and stuff that you can set, buy and sell on. Those are just the ones that I use mo mainly. I buy a lot on there and I also sell quite a bit on there. So without further ado, I will get started. Um, let's start with the jewelry. So I went to... The Salvation Army, and I noticed that they had Alex and Ani bracelets, and I was like, ooh, um, hold on, okay, so this one was $1.99, was it $1? yeah, this one was $2, it's discolored, but I'm going to see if I can either A, re-dip dye it, I don't know, can you even do that, if you know how to do that, please let me know, um, like how to replate it um if not i may consider spray paint or i may just leave it as is because it's almost gold and silver and i usually wear my gold and silvers together so it might not look that bad so this was a dollar 99 this one so these ones were all together all near each other and this pisces one wherever it is had a dollar ninety nine on it or three ninety nine, and she said I think it's three ninety nine for all of them. So I was like, okay. Um, the only bad thing is this one is in perfect condition. I am not a Pisces, so I will be selling this. Um, the rest of these, however, are missing their charms. So. I think I'm just going to add my own. Why would someone do that? I don't understand. Um, this, I don't know if it was is an Alex and Ani. I don't think so. Um, but I thought it would be cute. Or this one, I don't know either if it was or not. But either way, they, I thought they all looked cute together. I did pay 99 cents for this one. Because I almost feel like that looks like an Alex and Ani charm. So I'm going to stick that on there because I love elephants. So these were $3.99 and then this one was a dollar. And this one was a dollar ninety-nine. So like uh six bucks for all of these. Next, uh, I said it in a video before. I don't know if that video will air before this one does, but if it doesn't. Um, I made a brooch bouquet for myself for my wedding and it was so pretty and it had a lot of meaning because I got a lot of brooches from family members and friends and even when I went to garage sales and stuff, um, looking for brooches to put in it, <clears throat> I would tell people what I was doing and they would say, oh, these were my mother's and she would love that or, you know, I got a story with all my brooches so I have some history in my, a lot of history actually, in my bouquet. And it just means the world to me. When I did see them for sale, they were like $500. And I was like, you know what? I can make that myself. And I only saw, I mean, I haven't looked in two years because I've been married for, oh, sorry, three years. Um, there was only one girl that had a tutorial on how to make the brooch bouquets. And she was getting a lot of hate from the people that make brooch bouquets. Like, <laughs> she had stalkers and <clears throat> people that were trying to take down her channel and everything because she was showing people how to make these brooch bouquets. Since then, I don't know if there's a million videos on how to make them, but I am going to do a tutorial on how to make them because I just feel like it's such a personal thing and it's something you can have forever. Now, my daughter may not walk down the aisle in my dress, but maybe she might want my bouquet. And then to add to it. But anyways, I bought these brooches 
this was a dollar fifty this was 59 cents and I'm going to do a um, tutorial <laughs> on how to make a brooch bouquet. I'm just going to add these to my existing bouquet. This one was 99 cents. And I believe and this one was 2.99. It's really pretty. I believe after all was said and done my bouquet with everything. I mean, I got everything at either a garage sale or a thrift store. Except for, you know, like family ones that were given to me. My dad gave me his cufflinks from when he was in the army and those were in there. Um, so other than that, everything else was thrifted. And one of the ladies, when she found out what I was doing at the garage sale, gave me a bunch of her mom's jewelry. And I used that, incorporated that into my bouquet. So it was really awesome. So I'm going to do a tutorial soon on how to do a brooch bouquet. Okay. See, I'm rushing. <laughs> I talk really, really fast, and I'm sorry. Next is this Ray-Ban case. I bought a pair of Ray-Bans the other day, and I needed a case, and this was $2.50, and I didn't realize until seeing it on camera how dirty it is. But I'll just take a soft brush, like a toothbrush, and clean it out with um, water, and blue Dawn dish soap would be fine. Um, Let me see... Okay, so I showed in another video this Tutti Dolce. I had a big jar of this, the body scrub. Um, this is the lemon meringue. And this was a product carried by Bath & Body Works, which you can no longer get. And it is the body scrub and the uh, body wash and, lo and lotion. And this was $5. And these sell on eBay for like $40 because you can't get these anymore and I've said it a million times I'll say it a million more if you have stuff from Bath and Body Works as long as it still has the scent it could be from 30 years ago oops <laughs> it could be from 30 years ago get it out look it up and put that thing online you would be surprised how much they sell for I once sold a it was like a quarter of a bottle of Victoria's Secret tranquil breezes or tranquil garden it was from like the 90s 60 bucks for a quarter of a bottle of this perfume it's crazy just look your stuff up <laughs> um this next stuff is new skin 180 aha facial peel step one aha facial peel might be aha i don't know Neutralizer step two. It's brand new. See my my little local thrift store. They do sell a little bit on eBay, um, not a ton, but they do this, and it drives me insane because this isn't bad. So on eBay for one hundred seven bucks, they want ten dollars for it. However, they have a pair of Chrome Heart sunglasses, and they want a hundred dollars for them, and they're not even in that great condition. Now, if they were twenty five, I'd snatch them up. But a hundred bucks, I'm like, and it's like, oh, sold on eBay for three ninety nine. <sighs> they frustrate me. But anyways, that's what that was, and that was ten dollars. Um, like I said, I like to try new things when they're cheap, and having two girls in the house with a lot of hair, we go through a lot of shampoo and conditioners, and. I just hate spending a lot of money on them. Um, I won't go cheap. I won't buy, like, the VL5. It just does nothing for my hair. My hair looks limp and, and yuck afterwards. But I do like to, if I can find stuff cheap, I will try it. Um, this is Puritan Pride. Puritan's Pride Natural Panthenol Hair Thickener and Conditioner. This was $1.99, and it's brand new and full. And I looked these up to see how much they sell for, and they can sell for quite a bit. I Like $6 up to like 15 I saw them. So for $1.99, I figured it wasn't bad. I could do worse at the dollar store, right? Not that I'm against the dollar store, but some of their stuff is awful. Like that tingly tea tree stuff. Ugh, it did nothing. It didn't even lather in my hair. 
Okay, next is this Tresemme Fresh Start Waterless Foam Shampoo. This was $1.59. This was a wonk, wonk, wonk. So, this is for dry, curly to normal hair. It's actually a foam. I was thinking, you know, it's waterless shampoo, dry shampoo. Uh, no. It's waterless foam shampoo, and it literally gets your hair wet. So, I don't know how to use it. I guess I'm going to have to look again. I just used it in a hurry the other day just to try it because my hair was um I have a nervous I guess it's a nervous habit of constantly running my fingers through my hair and um it gets greasy quickly so that's why I had to use it and my hair was wet then and I was like oh crap <laughs> um this next thing is Authentic Mr. Do number one for your number two toilet bowl freshener, Amber Monk, Amber Musk poop culture. So it's like poopery. It was $1.98. I swear by these things. I actually made my own with water, essential oils, and a little bit of oil, like uh, olive oil or something like that. I think I use coconut oil. I can't remember, but you can look it up and it's super, super easy. But anyways, this was $1.98, and we go camping, and we do girls trips a lot, and girls are funny when they get together, so we like to have that accessible um, when we do, because it just makes everybody more comfortable. <laughs> um, next is this Banditaire shampoo and conditioner set, brand new. It was $3 at Amvets with some earrings that I will not be using. And it is Green Meadow Balancing Shampoo with Argan and Manoia Oils. So that's a really good deal. Um, next, I got this Paper Music Stars from Pottery Barn. They were $0.29 cents from Salvation Army. And they're just cute little stars that you throw like in a bowl or a vase. And I needed something for a vase filler. So I thought those were really cute. Um... Next, so I do sell online and I do not want to give out my online name because people are mean and people can be nasty and if they're jealous or they just don't like you, they can cause a lot of havoc to your personal accounts and that's why I do not put my, where I sell things on there. It's not that I'm ignoring you, I just don't want to cause any undue harm to myself or my account. And have to deal with that. If you are interested in things, just message me about them. Um, I do have a YouTube channel or a Facebook page, which is Miss Shops Lots Treasures. I believe that's what it is. I will post it below. Um, I'm also on Miss. Uh, I'm also on Instagram as Miss Shops Lots. So please just feel free to message me there. Come join me, and see what I get daily. Sometimes my Hauls take a while before I get them done and take a while before I get them up. So if you're instant, more instant gratification, take a look there. Um, I picked up these gloves. These were a dollar. I thought they were cute. I don't know. And when I do sell stuff that I have to show like the inside, the, one of the things I learned early on in selling is um, people don't want to see your skin. They don't want to see your nails. They don't want to see your skin. And it creeps them out. So... I see a lot of people using white gloves when they're showing purses and details and stuff. So I was like, why not? For a dollar. These next gloves I thought were so cute. They're mittens. They are from they are Eddie Bauer. They were $2.50 and we just got a ton of snow. And my hands are always freezing with the gloves that I have now when I have to snow blow. So those are perfect. And they were only $2.50. And so with a name brand like Eddie Bauer, I know they will last me a while. Next, I got these Chanel sunglasses on... I think they were on Let Go. And they were $10. They are authentic. I am not selling these. They are the tortoise hair. And then they have the little leather... Quilted leather with the C's. Made in Italy. If you want to look these up online to buy your own pair, they are Chanel 5234. 
So those are 10 bucks. I jumped all over those. And she said she might have another pair and she's going to let me know tomorrow. So if she does, there'll be another haul. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to move you in a little here. We'll do candles. Love my candles. This is a Yankee candle. Pretty full caramel apple cake. And it was $2.99. My savers has gotten insane with their prices on candles. Like no name candles that you would get at Kmart, for instance, for six bucks, if that, five bucks, are ten dollars. I'm like, what the heck? So I can't even believe I got these for as cheap as I did. Um so yeah. I just get my Yankee candles now at TJ Maxx or Marshall's because they're only $10, 10 and $12. If I'm going to pay $10 for a brand new candle or for, for a candle, it's not going to be through a thrift store. Okay, this is Yankee Candle Stage and Citrus, and this was $4.99. Even that's a little steep, but I'll, I'll take it. But $10, come on. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, we'll do these. Love this for Christmas. I buy things out of season. I do not care. Um, this is from Marshall's originally. I got it from Amvets for $5 and it's that mercury glass that I seem to be super attracted to this year. Covered in white paint and I just love it. Uh, next, I don't know if I showed these already. If I did, I'm sorry. These are Riker, I think they are. These were $8.98. They're brand, maybe they're not brand new. Okay, they're not brand new. They were half off that day, so they were $4.50. Um, and these are really expensive, so I'm going to see how much I can get for those. They are not for me personally. Um, again, this is something I'm not sure if I did. If I did do it, I'm sorry, but you're going to see it again. This is a Revlon crimper curler thing. I see a lot of YouTubers using these, and I found one. It was $1.99, and I'm going to try it. I don't like the little ones because it looks too crimpy. I feel like this big one makes it look more like a curl or a wave. Um, This next pink mercury glass... <laughs> Uh, vase or what have you was three dollars and I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet um, I may use it in my upstairs bathroom for hairbrushes but I haven't um, decided this next thing was so cute ha ah, so cute it was did I take the tag off I think I did it was 3.99 so it was four dollars and it's by Mud Pie, and it's, you know, like a drink um, pitcher. <sighs> oh, yeah, there you go, $3.99. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I, I couldn't leave it there. Look at how cute that is. In the summer with some margaritas in it, on the back porch with the girls. Yes. <laughs> uh, this next thing was $3.98. And it is the Sex in the City Kiss and Tell book. It's brand new. Sex in the City is coming back. They are coming out with a new movie. And I thought this would be the best, a good thing to have right now. And it's just a fake snakeskin like coffee table book about the whole thing and then this is a little um what is it i don't know book notebook and that was four dollars so that's that all right now we're getting into the good stuff stuff you've been waiting for i know you deal with my crap just so you can watch my bags <laughs> um these were a dollar and this was Henry Bendel New York while well, I mean it's like brand new um it's for a smaller phone than I have but I still could use it for a 
wallet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So that is the phone case. It's the Satiana leather, and that was a dollar. This is a Vera Bradley brown thing. <laughs> this was two fifty. It's brand new, still has the tags for twenty dollars. I will be reselling that. I don't wear Vera, but I do pick her up from time to time. This next bag I felt like quality leather, and. I've never heard of the brand before. It's called My Wallet, and this was six dollars. Um, it's brand new. It still has the tags inside. Um, it has a little bit of wear right here. I think just from being knocked around in the store. Um, and this, and these run between fifty and sixty a piece. Um, so for five, for six bucks, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna grab that. <clears throat> Okay, this next is a Kate Spade. I don't know what it was. It was 10 bucks. I don't know. Did it? It must have had something here. I don't know. Did it have a strap? Did it have a long strap? I'm not sure. Kate Spade. It's just a little wallet clutch type thingy. I'm going to try to find something to make it a wristlet. Um, if not, it's still cute for a wallet. Um, this next purse was, I did say how much that was, right? $10? This is Made in Spain, Susan Gale, Genuine Leather, Belito. This was $5. Super soft leather. I just thought it was really cute. And it's got the long crossbody strap. Normally, I am a label whore, and I am not afraid to admit it, because the price I get my purses for is ridiculous. Why wouldn't I be? Um, I don't very, very rarely do I ever use anything that's not designer. Not because it's thrifting has turned me into a snob. I, I I'll admit it. I I just I see something cute and I'm like, oh no, it's pleather, or oh no, it's this, and I'm just I can't wear it, and I hate that I'm like that, but I'm just like I just am. Okay, so this next bag is a Whiting and Davis Art Deco awesome vintage little purse this is the strap and this was $1.99 there's the Whiting and Davis Creed made in the USA so pretty so 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 pretty I actually wore a vintage Whiting and Davis purse silver one for my wedding it was so awesome thrifted I thrifted everything for my wedding this next bag is a Salvatore Ferragamo bag. This was from my little thrift that likes to put the prices on it. Surprised this one didn't. It was $12.99. <clears throat> this is the inside. Date code. I mean, it's brand new. Like, it's really, really good condition. So it was $13. This I'm going to do a little video on just how to clean it up real quick. This was $8.99 at Savers. Um, it's dirty, as you can see. Dirty there. Handles look like crap. Dirty inside. And this was $8.99. My daughter loves this style. I don't know why, but she does. And I know I can get it nice and clean for her. And I will do a video, since you guys have been asking, on cleaning videos I will do it on that next is this fossil bag this was $4.98 I found another one too in another video um, this one's bigger this is a huge woven Brantan ret rattan whatever with leather inside and this was five dollars this is an excellent condition there's no wear and it's vintage because it has that, I believe it's vintage, but it's in excellent, excellent condition. Um, okay, so this one I saw, and I was like, that is so cute. I don't know who's, who it's by. I'm not going to be a label whore. I'm going to get it. So I go over and I snatch it up real quick, and I open it up, 
and it's Isabella Fiore. <laughs> so I'm still a label whore. And this was $5. Excellent condition. There's a little screw in the bottom. That is the bottom. And these are pretty pricey. These are pretty pricey bags. And that was five bucks. My last two favorite two. So excited too. These were from Craigslist and Let It Go. Sorry about that. This is a Tory Birch bag. Whoever bought it, bought it from Tradesy. And it is in excellent condition. It's a little crossbody. Tory Birch. He's got the little rubber tag. She does have YKK zippers. That's the back. Loved it. This, OMG, $35. It is a Kate Spade overnight bag. Huge, huge duffel bag. Um, it had a couple of spots on the outside, but nothing that just a little wet wipe didn't clean up. And that's the inside. And I just love it. I cannot wait to use this. And $35. I was so excited. Well, thanks for bearing with me if you're still with me. It's been a long video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can watch the rest of my videos and upcoming videos. Also, thank you to all my subscribers and all the comments. I really enjoy talking to you guys. And hearing about your finds, please, please tell me about your finds. I love to hear about them. And as always, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.